I'll do it. So welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics Working Group Meeting for August 19th. Um, if some of you want to add your name to the attendees list, that would be that would be cool. And uh, how you're how you're feeling today? I'm feeling a little sleepy. I don't know why. Just am. Um, school starts tomorrow. Yeah, in person, no mask mandate. So it's awesome. Wow. Yeah. That just seems early to me, August 19th. I mean. Yeah. I mean, they do get out earlier at the end, so that's good. Like they usually get out in May, but still like, yeah. Okay. Um, so we have, we have an action packed agenda today. Um, primarily because <laughs> this is, I think our, is this our last meeting before the metrics freeze on September 1st? It is, because our next meeting is on September 2nd. Um, so I think that we should, we, we all, I, I know, we need to talk about the metrics freeze and what we're gonna have in it. Um, we need to, there were several metrics that were kind of in flight so we'll talk about all of those um, and make sure that we get those finished, wrapped up and into the metrics release because there are several that, uh, they may have already been PR'd, I haven't looked at the PRs, but we'll look at that as well. And we also need to make sure that we have uh, translation issues for all of our metrics to be released. So um, is there anything specific we need? To, here, I'll share my screen so you, so you can see the agenda and stuff. Um, is there anything specific that we need to do for the metrics freeze other than get the rest of our metrics in? No, I think you got it. Just like cleaning up the last pieces is what it kind of sounded like. Like okay. doing the PRs, getting, getting the issues squared away, updating the spreadsheet. I think you got it. Yeah, I was just gonna mention, maybe we should double check and make sure we have issues in the translation repo as well since that's a newish thing uh, i have created the pr but like i haven't created issue in the translation because i was waiting for pr to be merged then i create a issue in the translation that is okay. in the checklist but not done as yet okay so let's let's start by um by looking at the PRs and let's see which of these metrics we already have PRs for. I think that'll simplify the rest of the agenda. Um, so we have, uh, so let's look at, so we have that the clone metric and technical fork. Let's just start at the top here. Um, was it start with the clone because once you merge the clone, technical fork has something similar to the clone. So. All right, sorry, I need to log in, but I can't do it here because it's complicated. Um, so is there is there anything that we need to talk about? I would, I would say first merge the clone one or look at the clone one, then go to the technical fork. Okay, fair enough. Back. Do those two metrics have uh, uh, review issues associated with them yet? Uh, no, I have. Uh, I think in the last meeting we agreed to create a PR and then I uh, made these files and created a PR for the clone. Does it have the? This, do these files have the disclaimer at the top of them that say this is a metric in review? Yes. Just take a look at the files. I think I've added all these. This is the README. I've added this into the list. This is uh, this has this particular disclaimer. This metric is a release candidate on the line one. So one thing I've I've linked it to the existing issue. Do I need to create a separate issue, or there's an existing issue, and I've linked it to the same existing issue for? Collecting there's, an, a comment. there's an existing issue. 
Yes, 128. If you open that issue. Uh, oh, yeah, we can just turn that one into the. Uh, yeah, it was just like we are working on this talk and I've, I thought it's better to have one issue and collect the comments on that. Yeah, I, I think one issue is fine. I think we just can change the labels, but we do need yes. to make we do need to make sure that all of the information that we have described in the uh, process gets put in here. Uh, and in, in the future, there will be a there, there's a template checklist that we're going to yep. use. Uh, that so you basically change the label. Yep, I actually. I have actually followed the template, but not posted in the issue. But I was referring when I was doing this work. I don't think the yeah, I don't think the template is done and signed off on yet. So yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, so I think in the future, what we would do on this is yeah, just change the label to metrics candidate release, and then in the comment, we would post that template checklist. Yep. Okay. So is there anything that we need to do before we merge this pull request? No, I think it can be merged and go through the review process and any edits that are made to it at this point can be the result of the review process. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead, going to go ahead and merge it. And then, um, And then we need to update. Okay, good. You already updated the label. We need to link to the um, yeah the metric itself. Yes. Too. Yeah. Yeah. On the on the website and the markdown file. Okay. So I want to grab uh, those links and add them in here. I can do that. Okay. Yeah, just the the website release page in general, okay, and then the yeah. specific markdown file. Yep, I'm doing it. Okay, cool. Um, and then we also had the technical fork. Yep. Uh, well, so should I hold on? Sorry. Sure. Should I also add the issue that this is a new to the translation? Should we do that now or should we wait until it's approved by the community? Like to the No, we should, we should do it now. We should do it now because uh, I was waiting once it gets merged, uh, like Pia gets merged, then I was about to create an issue in the. I'll go create the issue in the translations repo that okay. points to, okay. that points to okay. this. That'll be taken care of then. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know what happened there. Um, so the the technical fork. Yeah, we basically I, just go ahead, Vinod. Yeah, we, uh, we have just make us uh, like sync the language with the clones exactly. Like uh, there was not note earlier in the technical fork. I've added that same note, which refers to the clones also, and in the clones, the same note is there, which refers to the technical fork. Is the disclaimer at the top of this one? No. So this is already release metric. I was not sure. Does it need a disclaimer or not? I haven't added that. So I was not sure on that. So I would say this is a substantial change. So in, since it's a substantial change to the document, so I think it has to go through the review process again. I was not sure. The Content are same. It's just the formatting that is changed and the addition of a note and an image. The meaning or the substance or the like underlying context of the metric is, is still same. There's no change in that. It's do you, just, do you uh, consider this? Do you consider this a copy edit, or you just yes. change some basic language, or do you think you added new content to this document? I would say I've added very small content, which is not changing the meaning of this metric. The meaning is still same. It's just I'm adding a note that and referring it to the clones too, so that we have a distinction between two, if anyone refers to this particular metric or a clone metric. Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with Vinod. This doesn't 
feel like a substantial change to me. This feels like a clarification of the definition, but I don't know, Matt, Elizabeth, what, what you think. I was doing a translation issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have strong feelings either way, to be honest, <laughs> like, it, you know, whatever y'all decide, if it, yeah. I'm kind of of the opinion that we should err on the side of sending it to review. Uh, otherwise, it'll be really easy for us to justify not sending edited metrics back to review. Uh, additionally, there is a translation issue here where we are going to have to, there's enough work in here that's been done that this is going to have to go back to the translation team. Whereas a, a simple copy edit may not go to the translation team. Okay, then the that, that's just my thought. I, I don't know if, if anyone else. Uh, no, I think I think that's I think that's fair. So I'm just gonna leave yep. a comment that um, the node will add the disclaimer text and. So so one question on adding the disclaimer: Should we refer to the? Should I create a new issue for this, or should we reopen the old issue for getting the comments on these changes? Because in in disclaimer we refer to an issue for collecting the comments. We've done both. I don't know that I have. Uh, I, I don't know that there's any preference listed yeah. in the handbook at all. So let's reopen the old issue. That way we have the, the history all in one place. That's what I was okay. thinking too. Yeah. Can then someone reopen that issue? I don't have the ad rights. Oh, do you know what issue it is? Uh, here, I, I can look. Uh, this was technical fork. Yep. Can, cannot type. This one. Uh, yep, this one. So uh, just reopen it. Uh, for... OK. It's open, so you can you can go ahead and um, okay. I'll add the disclaimer to this. So. Yeah. Okay, so let me just put that in the in the notes under the clones metric. So you uh, finished these action items. Yep. And that's created an issue in the translation repo for the clones metric, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So the oops. Um, we will need a translations issue for the technical fork as well. Did you just delete all that stuff? Uh, yeah, from uh, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. Um, okay, so these are done. Yep. And then the new action item is add template text or what do we, sorry, what do we call that? Disclaimer. 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 Uh, or, or release review, review text or. I added those two metrics to the release notes issue, by the way. Cool. Um, OK. We just need to make sure that we do get this merged. And uh, um, oh, and we need the translation issue, too. And then there was, there was one more pull request. Six typos on language distribution. Has anybody looked at that? It didn't. Oh, there are just some typos. I don't see the, if you 74, the ones at the bottom, that those are clear through. Oh, I see. Those oh. are just a bullet change. I couldn't. I couldn't see what the. Um, but, uh, though several libraries exist, that's actually 
correct. The original yeah. one's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, okay. Um, Yeah. Maybe asking if you can double check the translation because I'm I'm assuming he caught that. He caught that edit when he was doing the translation work. So if I close it with comment, that's closed without merge. I just do this so rarely that I close something without without merging it. Yeah, yeah it had those two <laughs> arrows that stayed away from each other for the two lines. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, so we're good on we're good on that. Um, These are all releases and things. So we don't think there's anything we need to talk about there. Um, event location. Yeah, I haven't done the, that fell off my to-do list. Uh, so okay. I forgot I had that to do. Okay. Uh, so I'll leave that, that you're, you're on the hook to PR that. Yeah. Um, but I think Matt, that was you, is that right? Yeah, I'll put the link to it in here. Just let's see. Do you want to do you want to talk through this? Um, sure. I mean, I think the biggest issue was we just kind of went back and forth on what we were looking at with respect to bot activity. You know, just is it a number of bots, the amount of bot activity, the, there was like at one point the ratio of bot activity to human activity. Um, and this is where we ended up kind of landing on just bot activity, the volume of automated bot activity. So just being able to identify bots really I think it really came down to this can provide a nice filter for other metrics that you're looking at, just from an activity perspective in particular. So that's about it. And then those filters are on the bots itself, like different bots might be doing different things. So you may want to filter out on that too. Not all bots are not created equal. I don't think that data collection strategies makes a whole ton of sense. <laughs> Just saying dev stats, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we, before we PR this, should we talk to the Grimoire Lab um, folks, because I know that they use bots as a filter on a lot of their dashboards. So I wonder if it would make sense to also get a visualization. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I can help you. This him. visualization is, is really hard to read. Yeah, I mean. We could, uh, sorry. That's fine. I think it's a like I think it's a decent visualization if you if you could read it. <laughs> so agreed. I mean, so well, I'll, let's, I'll let's, see how, let's see how this would look once we get it PR'd in and we can see how it looks on the 
Like, is it okay? Maybe we I could take also, a, I could also like take and move some of the stuff to make it a little bit bigger. Because to be fair, images like this embedded in docs tend to look fuzzy, anyways. Okay. So. And when they come, yeah, maybe, and it wouldn't be hard to take a new screenshot that's of a higher quality either. Yeah. And I was I was just gonna say rather than waiting and getting their feedback, I think we should just PR it and get the feedback or edits from them uh, during the review process. Okay, I think that's a good idea. So that to PR this, um, and we should ask. Two words, right? It is, I think. Is it, is it collabs or more labs? I, I screw this up all the time. I thought it was one word, actually. Uh, is, it, is it not? It's falling into the Red Hat <laughs> GitHub. Yeah, yeah I think that looks more right. Yeah, it's one word. No, okay. one word. Yeah, Grimoire, Grimoire Lab, uh, Camel Case L. OK. John, does Augur have a visual on bots? We don't. We don't. We haven't done anything to filter bots, although I'm sure there's a pretty easy way to do it. Like, Don, I know you have a list of accounts that you count as bots in your reports. I don't know. Is there a central name space where I can see what bots are exist? No, the, the actually the filtering of the bots was um, incredibly manual on my part. It was it was basically I was looking at my contributor graphs and I was like, Spring Dash CI, that's not a real person. They're not the top contributor to this project. That must be a bot. Um, yeah. So a lot of it was me looking at things that looked weird on my contributor charts, realizing they were bots, and then manually filtering them out in the select statement for for the commits. But all right, well, uh, I, I will get that PR in and then just because we're um, because we won't meet again. I'll, you know, kind of ask a few people to maybe review and merge and then in that PR. Like you have here, I'll tag somebody from Grimoire Lab to see if there's yeah. anything they want to add and then following that when it's merged, then I can kind of do the rest of the stuff too, which is well, just all those other things, the translation stuff and the issue and all that. Okay, cool. Um, and if I can come up with a bot list from somewhere I, it's trustworthy, I can create a list. Are, are you looking at just filtering bots or listing them? No, we were just looking at options for visualization. The mm -hmm. one that we have didn't look great. Yeah. Uh, if you don't already have one, it's not it's not a big deal. I know that Grimoire Labs filters out bots, but I think I'm not sure how they do it. Um, so that you wouldn't, but you want to see bots with this actually. So filtering them out would be helpful. Well, but it's a filter, right? You can filter them in and look at it. Yeah. I mean, it's the Kibana dashboard. You can filter it either way. You could just show activities for bots. Um, okay. Okay, so this is looking, this is looking good. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty solid. We have, let's see, and do we have translation issues for all of the ones aside from the ones that we're still PRing? I think so. I looked there, this was okay. the one that I just did on clones was maybe the third or the fourth one we have sitting in the translations repo or yeah, okay. the translation okay. issues. So I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, um, we, we changed our focus group names as well. I wonder if the translation team has already accounted for that. Uh, they seem to think they have, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was thinking they had as well. I think it's just based on talking with like Yash and Ritik, like what the work that had to be done Yeah. to connect those two. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I, th I think you're right. I think that was... I think that was done through that conversation, those conversations. Um, so bot activity, we'll get yeah, trans we can. 
under community review. Yep. Um, loans yep. will be also under community mm -hmm. review. Technical forks is going back into community under community review. Good catch. And I've added the disclaimer to the technical folks. So you can merge it now. Okay. Um, let's just do that right now so that we don't forget. Um, I did find a useful list of bots, by the way. Um, Okay, so that one's that one's merged. Cool. Always yeah. nice to see no PRs. I know, isn't that very, great? Yes, you you keep the K or the the common working group very tidy. <laughs> <laughs> I well, it's one of the things I measure on on all of our all of our existing open source projects is like, do you keep up with your pull pull requests? Yeah. And it feels sort of hypocritical if if <laughs> if you're not <laughs> you know, is. Right. Keep up with the pull requests. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, okay, so we got uh, that one, and then there should be there should be one more that we need to do. Oh, event, event locations. locations right. Yeah, Kevin, that's the one you're doing. Yeah. Oh, and this is the one that it's not. It's not the drop down doesn't work. Matt, you let took that. Let me try to fix that like right now. Okay. I'll just I'll. Is there anything else we need to change in this spreadsheet? Otherwise, I'll just close it and we'll let Matt fix things. Um, we'll watch live while you fix things. I was just seeing like where, it, <laughs> if, if all of those rows had that issue or like where it stopped and where it started. So. Yeah, I. And it's funny, the, the drop downs are totally different, you know, like considering pending. I noticed that they're all in a different order and things. Yeah. yeah. And these are okay. So I'm not sure how I'm going to best do this. I might just take these five and drop them here. You know what I mean? <laughs> what happened there? Um, so what I did was I just I was just bringing down the proper drop downs, yeah, from above, and then I'll just. But this, what's what's up with? Who has keys to the matches? That wasn't there before, and that. Right, let me let me do that. <laughs> I'll go there. I won't. I'll I'll not touch it. So, and then let me see if I can just do this. I think that's going to work. Uh, all right, I'm going to, you don't have to watch me do this. <laughs> <laughs> move away, move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> OK, so I will leave this as uh, um, uh, and fix it for event location. Okay, um, we did the PRs, we did this translation issues, bot clones, event location. So I think the the action item, but the action item that we have for the metrics freeze is that we um, need to review and merge um, event location and bots. Okay, so this is our, our critical thing that we need to make sure that we do not forget to do. Uh, and did anyone create a translation for the technical fork? A request on the translation repo for the technical fork. We just merge. That needs to be done as well. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Then if uh, none, no one has done, then I can do it. Okay. 
Um, are you going to do that right now or do I need to give you an action item for it? No, I'm just doing it right now. Okay, perfect. Okay. Well, I feel like we, we got through all of the things we had on the agenda. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? Is there anything related to the release that we're forgetting to do? Um, I think we might end up being the most productive working group this release. Win. Yeah, yeah. That should be a prize or something. Way to go, Don. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the meetings I missed were the ones that y'all were most productive at. So I don't know what that says, but. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't know what to do other than make new metrics. <laughs> we, we sure weren't going to check issues and pull requests. Yeah, and that did not happen. <laughs> when were, that, was, that was not happening when you were not here. I'll promise you that. Oh. All right. Well, I feel like we're, I feel like we're in really, really good shape. Um, and the spreadsheet's fixed. So. Cool. Thank you. So we'll just mark that as done and done. my capitalization there um well, I mean, okay. yeah i mean if we're done that i'll i could use this extra time i'll just get the, the yeah bot one rolling. cool okay um and kevin since you're involved in the release process i will try to keep an eye out for some of these metrics and just merge them but kevin can you can you just make sure that we don't forget this when the when the freeze happens since you're involved in the release uh, yeah, for sure. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay, I think that's I think that's it. Sean, I sent you some Slack messages about some issues with commits. Yep, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. I I, make sure you saw that. It's unrelated to core. Or, yep, sorry. Common. Yep. No, I know. And I, I I see I see what's happening. And okay. I, uh, that's all. I, that's all I needed. I just want to make sure you saw that. Yep. Thank you. I'll I'll update you when I have it solved. Cool. All right. Well, look at that. We're giving giving y'all more than twenty minutes back. Yay! Yay! Yay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Matt, you have a second.